trusted resource in the UK for ponds and water features. And since the last video, we've been doing lots of work. We've actually done now stage four. Are you excited? Do you want to see what we've been doing? So now we're ready to line the pond. First of all, we're going to put this pond underlay underneath. This is 250 grams per square meter. It's tamped down all of the sharp edges and basically made the hole smooth. So let's get cracking. Let's do that now. waiting for is we're basically waiting for the water level to reach the bottom of the, sh the first shelf because then what we can actually do is we can work on top of the first shelf and make sure that there's no voids or the, the liner is not being pulled back down into the pond because obviously the weight of the water will make the liner settle and it's a slow process but it's a crucial stage to installing the pond liner correctly. What we've actually done is we've gone around the edges and made sure that the, all the pleats and the folds are in the right place. We've, only, we've managed to do four, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover those pleats and folds with rocks. And also what we're gonna do on the far side is we're gonna create a mini barrier reef, freshwater barrier reef for dragonfly nymphs. What they love to do is they love to get inside the, the, the nooks and the crannies between the stacked stone underneath, and it basically helps them protect um, from predators, birds and what have you that want to eat them. Kingfishers eat um, dragonfly larvae um, and it is a, a certainly a big enough pond for a kingfisher to come and visit. Well, this is a freshwater barrier reef. 